Just as there are many facets to a diamond, I believe that there are many facets to a person. So I'm going to be speaking about matters of the heart, about spiritual things. I don't claim to be a religious guru. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a priest. I'm not any of those things. I'm just a normal person who happens to have amazing stories to share with you. So we came up with this idea to do a blog and I don't think that there's any better person to start my first episode with. Oh, and this is the first episode? Yes. Then with okay. Kriya Kim. Are you okay with it? Well, I'm, I'm good, good. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and tell them about the beginnings of how we first Actually, met? Yeah, um, I found the Lord in uh, August of 20, 2013. Actually, it's a, it's a six year process. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, it's a three year process when I found the Lord. The first time was when I had a stroke. I had a stroke in 2010, and uh, because I was so afraid to get another stroke, I became healthy. After my stroke, I got so afraid that I prayed to Jesus Christ, my best friend. He was my best friend then. He was not my Lord and Savior yet. Mm -hmm. And a best friend, you diss sometimes. Sometimes mm. you lie a bit to your best friend, you make engine your best friend, because he was not my Lord, not my boss. Three years after my, my stroke in 2010, I, I signed up for my first full Ironman race. A full Ironman is a four-kilometer swim, followed by a 180-kilometer bike, and then followed by a full marathon, a 42-kilometer wow. run. I signed up for, uh, Im it's called IMWA, Western Australia. And uh, after um, a 180-kilometer bike training day, I wake up one morning and I couldn't move my hands, I couldn't move my fingers. And uh, being a stroke survivor, I went to my doctor and she said, you know, you're on your bike for a long time. It's probably your ulnar nerve. You pinched your nerve. Uh, give it a couple of days, you'll be okay. Uh oh okay. And then so I went on with my full Ironman program. The next day, I ran 32 kilometers. I was that fit, huh? 32 kilometers. I kept on falling, uh, toppling over. When I removed my shoes after my workout, I realized that I couldn't wiggle my toes. My toes were like this. So I went back to my doctor. And then after like two hours of testing, told me I have to put you in ICU right now. Why? You have a rare disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome. If we don't put you in ICU and give you medicine, uh, we'd have to intubate you this afternoon because you oh won't be able to gosh. breathe because you'll be totally paralyzed. As I was praying, it dawned on me. The motto of Iron Man is, I can. I can swim, I can bike, I, I can run. All things are possible through me. I can. It's all I. Only to realize that day in ICU when I was getting paralyzed, I couldn't even move my fingers, that it's not I can, it's really God can. Everything is from God. And then in comes Karen Davila, <laughs> a friend who's also Christian, and yeah. tells me, came here like St. Paul. St. Paul always had this thorn on his, uh, on his uh, side, on his flesh. And uh, he prayed to the Lord to remove the thorn, and God just told him, my grace is sufficient unto you. All you need is my grace. And I realized that morning that all I needed was Jesus' grace. This is what Karen was telling you. Yeah, yeah. You are my testimony. You, you, you gave your testimony without having to um, overtly try to convert me or read Bible texts to me because I warned you. When we were going to work together in the morning show, the first few months, I told Donita and Rika already, guys, I know you're Christian. Then I told you and Rika also, you know that corner in our, in our small dressing room? That's my corner. I'm going to sleep there during our break. Don't you dare uh, lay, your, lay hands on me and pray for me. Uh. Eh? But I saw this peace, especially with you, that defied understanding. I saw this peace. You had, you had trouble them with your husband. Yeah. You're fighting all the time with your husband. <laughs> Yet, despite your stress and despite all your hardship, I saw this peace mm. that I wanted to be my peace as well. Mm which I didn't have. Well, so, Kuya Kim, you were pretty much agnostic before, yeah, meaning yeah. you believed in different gods. Very you know? new age, yeah. Uh, no, I believed in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but I believed in other... Uh, sources? Sources of power as well. But the, contrary to your request to never pray over you, yeah. I was always praying uh, for you. <laughs> sabi ko na eh. I feel like you're one of my children. <laughs> in a, in Thank a you, small... <laughs> What were the biggest say, changes you, the before that you stopped mm. when you had this newfound faith? Um, I, certain addictions uh, were removed from me. Mm -hmm. 
One would be uh, looking at pornography, which was so normal for, for guys. No? It was a, a, an addiction, mainly because it was so ingrained already. Mm -hmm. as, even as a young boy, I was yeah. looking at pornography already. Yeah. Growing up, I would uh, look at magazines, and now it's so available. It's on your phone, it's on your computer. And it, it's become so part of, of my nature. Okay. But and if that's it, was, a... it was affecting the pala my, my love life with my wife. <laughs> Sex has become how God designed it to be. Mm -hmm. Like, titingi na pala kami or turned on already. <laughs> no. how exciting can that be? I mean? shouldn't be hearing these things because I'm a love life, la 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 la. But how did I get rid of pornography? After I got saved, after I got born again, and I was burning with the Holy Spirit and I wanted that feeling of the Holy Spirit inside me all the time mm -hmm. that whenever I'd look at a lewd picture, even casually, it drove away that feeling that I was with the Holy Spirit. Mm. And I prayed to the Lord and I said, just fill me with the Holy Spirit. I don't like this oh. feeling to leave me. So that's how I also so, share my testimony. Because I was so full, there was no space whatsoever with something that would be totally against the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. inside me. You know, earlier you talked about from best friend to Lord and Savior. Yeah. You know, a best friend, yeah, you have a relationship mm -hmm. and you can choose when you want to spend time or not. Yeah. But when this when you talk about Lord and Savior, these are terms that a lot of people who've never experienced this before, they don't really know about. Mm -hmm. So you Lord and Savior part, that's the intimacy with yeah. having an intimacy with God. Not, we're not talking about sex here. We're talking about just there's His presence. You can feel His presence in your life and stuff. And so when you say no mm -hmm. to things of the past, like lewd pictures, like you mm -hmm. said, you feel that separation like like sort of like it drives you it's a wedge yeah it drives you away from your your lord and savior finding i because uh, we were never jesus christ never promised a trouble-free life yes um but troubles will come but with him as lord and savior you know exactly how to deal with the the, the troubles that come and you deal with it with peace and this is the peace that is beyond understanding mm -hmm. and this is the peace that i saw in you and in rika that's why I, I became born again as well well and look at the person that you've become now so how would you say that your family has reacted especially fairly to these mm. changes the, the the bible that non-believers read is us and our lives and although Feli has not accepted jesus christ yet mm -hmm. she sees the change in me and she tells me that uh, I, I like what I see. I like, I like it that you go to church. She does not go to church yet, but I know in time, Yeah. The, it's the Lord's time. Eh? Mm -hmm. You know, it took me 43 years before I finally accepted <laughs> Him. It's yeah. only been five years since I became saved, no? How many times have you read your Bible? Um, a, a few times. So a yeah, few a now? Few times, yeah. I, I read it from beginning to end, mm -hmm. the first three months that I, when I became saved, and I've read it a few chapters over and over and over again. And, you know, I'm sorry, changing, I digress, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You've also began to impact the lives of other celebrities. Mm -hmm. I was with uh, another person, Gretchen Fulido, last Gretchen, week, yeah, yeah. and she talked about how she saw something in your life and how, it, yeah, and how it changed her life. So without Avi actually having preached to her, you know, you're also doing the same in the lives of other people too. So, so proud oh, of you. Thank you. It's an honor. Thank you, Lord. You know, there's so much more that I want to talk about, but I know that you have to go, Kuya Kim. Mm -hmm. uh, but maybe on another episode. Yeah, I'll guest again. Over a glass mm -hmm. of wine or something? Yeah. yeah. You're the best, Kuya Kim. Okay. I'm so proud of you. So. <laughs> if you liked this episode, I certainly hope that you like it and you also subscribe because I'm going to be having more guests in the future that I'm going to be talking with that have other amazing stories to share with you. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.